We thought we had billions of years before our son died. We were wrong. Thousands of us answered the call, rallying to save those we can. Every one of our ships, a ray of hope. Captain, it is up to you to find us a new home, so we can plant the future seeds of humankind. Copy. Calling course now. Sector locked in. guys and welcome to my playtest of the early access demo of Earthless. Um, now this is brought to you by Team 17. The premise is that Earth is gone, dying, uninhabitable thanks to our sun going old and bigger and eating up Earth basically a few billion years before we planned it so you are the captain of one of many colony ships and your job is to find a new exoplanet um, which you've got the location of already and uh, in the journey to get there of course you're going to encounter alien races they're going to be nasty they want to kill you you need to kill them and run away as fast as you can. Brave, brave Sir Robin. So in combat, uh, you're given a, a board, obviously. Uh, use ASDW to move the map around. Uh, you can do stuff with your cursor, but yeah. Moving the ship, click on the ship, it highlights where you can move to within the limit of your heat rating which is four now there are things you can do throughout the game that will give you more range better heat management etc etc um, so you just got to play it now i must say this being my very first playthrough um yeah i was still struggling to get my head around some of the controls uh, there are multiple ways to action various cards and uh, every card has a strategic value so it's good to pay attention to them uh, so one of the ways to action a card is to click on the card and then click on your ship some cards can be actioned or most cards can be actioned with a double click um, now the, the problem is to deselect the card you can choose another card or you have to right click now sometimes don't know why but sometimes the right click seems to action the card um, so This is an attacking card. Uh, red border is offensive. Blue border defensive. So it just nuked me an asteroid. So I've got a clear line of sight up to that little baddie lurking at the exit. There are some ship... Um, expansions or enhancements that will allow you to move diagonally but in the meantime 
uh, you have to move in the same manner as the rook on a chessboard. So you can go within your movement tolerances, left, right, up, down, no diagonals. comes the baddie. No, he's going to sit there. Right. Well, I'm just out of range for the missiles. So I might just... Yeah, he's out of range. He's not a big baddie, obviously, being the first one. He's just a grunt. Let's just jump ahead a bit. Come on, time to blast him. He's within range now. one had a combo built in but it doesn't say how to trigger it or at least it wasn't very clear so three bang come on come on come on come on rolling out oh dear lord what was i thinking all right let's get out of there bang going in now, you can open your rewards pack after every encounter. Uh, and some encounters come with extra bonuses, but you get to pick some really nice cards. So, yeah, uh, red offensive, blue defensive, gold um, seems to be some sort of special artifact or uh, special thing. Anyway, here's this AI in action again. So that using the tab key to predict the enemy intentions. Keep in mind that their reactions or their actions may change depending on your actions. Uh, here's things get a little bit different. See those big red squares behind me? Uh, they are markers of dangerous place to be at the end of the turn. So at the end of the turn, something really bad is going to be in those squares, and I don't want to end the turn there. Heat. That gives me a bit more room to move. And I can get Going right in. up out of the way. So what's happened is that contaminated zone has crept up behind me. And it's advancing at the rate of two units per turn so i need to try and get through this area before that zone ends up landing on my plane target shields are down okay so now all i should say that the star maps are procedurally generated so every time you play the demo you're playing a different journey uh, and but it is only the one star map. But playing the tutorial is very important because it shows you a, how to make your cards more powerful. There is a temptation to hold on to upgrades as long as you can hoping to find a really powerful card that you can make overkill um, it's worth noting that especially in the demo by the time you get to that point the game's probably over anyway nearly over 
so this is the time in this phase of the game to have some fun and experiment and play and learn and do the stupid things for the shits and giggles knowing that it's probably going to end the game but so what you know so what upgrade a card have some fun see what they do um, salvage yes unfortunately these salvage sites are a bit of a mixed blessing uh, on the plus side raw materials for you to repair damage to your ship or upgrade your capabilities be it an artifact or a card uh, up in the top right there you can see 33 out of 40 that's the hull that's your hit points if you will the the bit where the salvage things become a bit of a mixed blessing is the realization that you are harvesting these raw materials from the corpse of another colony ship um, yeah it's a bit dark if you think about it like that but hey ah schematics now schematics are great they allow you to craft new weapons from raw materials that you have picked up in your journeys um, and uh, yeah at the end of each combat you can pick up raw materials as well these allow you to build new artifacts to boost cards sometimes boost new cards uh, build new cards um, sometimes improve the performance of your ship I mean I dare say that there's going to be a lot of variety at some point so let's craft this card I have the raw materials I have the card uh, okay, I didn't craft it. Why didn't I craft it? Never mind. Okay, so uh, now this contamination zone. Here, this is something you've got to see. This baddie. Oh, those nasty little dart ships. When they die, they create a three by three of contamination centered around you. So here we go. The final battle. So as you can see, I'm sitting in a bad place. I've got weapons fire that's about to slam into me, unless I do that and manage to kill the alien by blowing his brains out. Yay! On behalf of all humankind, we thank you for successfully finding a potential new home. But your mission has only just begun. Do your best to lead the settlement of your crew and passengers, but know that your services may be called upon again Soft landings, Captain. And we get a nice little summary. Run victory, Captain's debrief. Dun dun dun. On the other hand, if you get your butt handed to you and you Captain, die, we honor the ultimate sacrifice about to be made by you and your crew. Wherever it is that you are headed, know that the data collected from your journey is already assisting other ships in our fleet. Soft landings, Captain. Yeah, not the ideal outcome. But, when you're playing the demo, expect to see that scene a lot. Well, there it is. Coming soon. 
wish listed on Steam. Put a link in the description. Thanks for watching, folks. I really appreciate your support. Please hit that thumbs up like button and show me what you do and don't like. Give me a comment. Tell me what you do and don't like so I can do better and share it with your mates so they can give their feedback as well. Hitting that subscribe button will help me make this channel into something really worthwhile. I also want to give a big shout out to the Patron Pack, the people who make all of this possible. Thank you to Jeremy, Alex, Michelle M, Shelley, Kathleen, Miriam and Michelle H. Why not join the Patron Pack? For as little as $2 per month, you'll get your name in every video, in every issue, and there's access to perks and merch. Check it out, saywhat.nz slash Patreon, or just go to the website and hit that orange Patron button up there in the left. Awesome. Have a great time, guys, and thank you again.